there she is, ladies. There she is, there she is. My queen and her cat or dog or cat. whatever it is. Flora, There's let's things. try it. There's Here, things. do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna hold this? I wanna try it. Um, Grand Jasmine, I like Jasmine. Let's, let's try this, let's try this. Move. Let's go with a little bit. Oh, this one is gorgeous water. Chlorine, wait. And let's put the other one with my Pokeball. Mm, this one's a little bit more neat. Called the gorgeous garden. The other hand. Oh. Don't, don't put the same plate. Ooh, this one's very nice. Okay, I like these two. This one's a little bit grandma -y. These two very much. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, snap, mom. Are you gonna game? It's free. All yeah, they're all free now. Oh, it's multiple games. Oh, where's my go pack? Go Wait, let me. Oh, this is, is Galaga '88. Oh my God. That was mine. This is the start button. See? There you go. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This was my game. This is my jam. I still collect games. <gasps> Man, you got bodied. Yeah, well, it's been a while. Oh shit, she put the phone down. Oh. Two hours later. So we need to get an arcade machine now. Just for mom. Hey, it'll get you to sand more. <laughs> she's she's doing it. Come on, give me the Oh, 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 what a, oh, let's go. Are you dead already? Damn, move over. Let me show you how it's done. This is the shiniest floor I have ever seen. Sweet Jesus, Seattle. I just landed in Seattle. It was six hours. I played Zelda for the entirety six hours. I think I was on my laptop for like 20 minutes. Mm. No, I'm talking to myself. Well, technically my friends. <laughs> Very excited, I've never been to Seattle. Uh, what's with the shiny floors? I don't know. I'm staring at it. Oh yes, always, always. <laughs> First impressions, perfect weather, beautiful skies. It's cold, it's my kind of weather. It is cold, come on. I'm in a tank top and it's colder than Montreal, come on. In Montreal, it's humid right now and this is like, I am thriving and it doesn't smell it's like degrees. death. It's 19 Oh, I'm thriving. I'm here in Seattle to, oh my God, high school reunion. Yes, queens! Hug, hug, hugs! Imagine having girlfriends. I'm not gonna go there. Me and Poyo. <laughs> oh no, well, she just fell. Help me! No. I've been invited by Nintendo to work basically the entire. Nintendo Expo this year, their live event back in action. 
uh, here in Seattle uh, for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate 3-on-3 three -three Squad Strike and as well as the 16 and under Amiibo Doubles Tournament. It, it, these were tournaments, these were qualifiers that you had to do in the online open bracket that was happening throughout the month. And of course now the qualified players are making it out for the grand finals that is going to be in the big theater here across the street from PAX West. So of course, thanks to Game Rebellion on the side, I'm going to be going out to PAX West on Saturday, which is my only day off, to be meeting a lot of indies, playing a lot of games, and you already know we're going to go get play Sonic Superstars, because I already spoke to someone there and I was like, I'm coming. They said, okay, we're ready for you. I said, are you sure? Because I got like the football gear on and everything. So the tackle is going to happen with some Sonic Superstars gameplay, so. Pretty excited. We're waiting here for our lifts now. Uh, someone's gonna come get us. And oh, okay, we're oh, going out. Looking for us. Okay, we, we're going. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh my God, that's ours. Holy shit! That truck bigger than my ex. Oh wow! Oh my God! Pimp my ride. Mom to get in the car. This is gonna be great. Let's go. Hey, thank you so much. Do you need help? I just don't want to bust my brain. <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> Let's ride. Actually. Sup? I have arrived. Wow, service. Okay, oh, I'm, too, I'm still too short, guys. I have to grow another inch. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Holy crap, Jesus Christ. So we can actually see something. How about that? How about that? Mm, lights. That is not the light. Wow, we got bedtime well, lights. Like this? Whoa! That's so special. Wow, I don't have Oh my god, look, there's like Jay could have been right there. This Love is him. weird now. Holy shit, dude. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, did that pop out? Yeah. Whoa! What did you find? Ow! What did you find, Mom? Look, the tell, original, tell the actual. <laughs> I like that you're like hidden. The Come out of the closet, honey. The tell them who you are. Cake factory. Oh my fucking god, it's real. Oh, I thought that read sex for a second. It says cheese, but it said I thought it said sex. Factor. I, I, I mean, it, it tastes like sex, probably. Oh my, is it open? People there's pe there's people in there. <laughs> But the real question is, could, is this the right TV remote? Uh -oh. And is it? It is not, ladies. It is not, ladies. It is not, ladies. It is you not. Can't play TV. They literally keep doing this at every event now. Wait a minute. HDMI. What is it's that all, going to? Nice. Oh, it's to make. Oh, wait. Check, check, check. One, two. I see an HDMI in the box, which means this is a good. Come check. Sure. Wow, even the TV knows how to spell my name. Grandma, get on my level. Good morning. She's like, God, uh, what's up? I'm clocked in. 
Literally, I am working today. This is day one of the Nintendo Live Expo. There is a Super Mario Wonder Direct happening, I think literally in about an hour. So I'm really excited. We're a little jet lagged, like, you know, like, it's weird that we don't really get that, but I'm pretty jet lagged. Like I, I woke up like at seven, I couldn't fall back to sleep because it was technically 10 a.m. where I am. So it was weird. I, it's only three hour difference, but for some reason we were really, really screwed up. Like she's still really tired. So we're gonna grab some food, basically just going to Starbucks real quick. I'm clocked in for work. Oh my God, hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm basically working normally. There's nothing going on today specifically. It's really from now until about 4 p.m. I'm working normally. Hello guys, join the community. Now. When you join the Game Rebellion Discord community, you can receive marketing advice for your game, but also level up rewards to claim for perks. Discord reward levels you up to avoid stubborn stains. Level five covers bald spots, no problem. By just interacting, you can slice and dice through thousands of experience points and win yourself the most delicious of recipes. But wait, you can use those points too. Depending on your kind of interaction, you can use your reward to get exclusive Game Rebellion membership perks such as dev tech assistance, equipment, free consulting sessions, Game Rebellion merchandise, and not to mention being the user of the month. Imagine being treated like a world-class Hollywood actor on the red carpet. Yes, 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 this all comes with a valued XP gain. Two times faster than the average Discord. Whoa! That's a lot of presents that not even Santa Claus could compete with. You can have all this for the total price of free! That's the best part, join our community today to start leveling up. Act now! Game Rebellion is not responsible for bald spots, chopped vegetables, and we will not clean up the stains for your couch. We simply are only responsible for the rewards that are given to you and within your claimed perks. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out at GameRebellion.com. Mm -hmm. You know, marketing for video game. At 6 o'clock, we're gonna go meet Nintendo. We're gonna go out and do an awesome arcade. We're gonna play some games. We're gonna have some food together, and it's gonna be a great time. So see you around, and I hope you enjoy the footage. Maybe we'll find my mom playing Pac-Man again or Galaga. Even the cups are fancy, my goodness gracious. Girl. Okay, ladies, we're here. It is a 15 minute trailer broadcast happening right now. Uh, well, it was just a video basically uploaded by Nintendo uh, talking about Super Mario Wonder, the game that we absolutely lost our mind over. Play the clip. Shut up. Shut, up. Shut, shut, up. Up. Shut, shut up! 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 Yes! Yes! It's happening! It's happening! And it's finally here. Oh my god, it looks so fucking good. Wow, we're going to the Flower Kingdom. Wait, look at him, Prince Florian! I need, like, a finger of him. Dude, I love how animated the characters are. Much better than, like, the U series. Like, the this new series. Oh, I wish I could merge. Dude, it looks so good. It, the, the animation just pops out, like the 3D aspect behind a 2D scale is really, really nice. And just look at Mario's expression. Peach's face, I feel, has improved the most. I like that we're not for once saving Princess Whoa! Peach. Guys, it's Daisy! <laughs> Ooh, ah. Dude, Mario's physics look incredible. Look at the way he's heavy. I miss that. You see the way? That, I think that's actually different than what, what the ori original trailer is. I'm gonna have to look into that. But he looks heavier in terms of his jump. It could be the same as the new series, but he looks to me to be a little heavier. Which is much more, you know... It's it's I think it's it's much more relatable to his retro series, right? Like from the 80s, 90s. Even the ducking, pulling his hat down. This is what I wanted, guys. Bro, my my nipple. Like it's like it is like perfect. Oh shit! You can pick any level at your own time. Are you serious? We can just try another course. 
Even though I'm just gonna play in order because you know we are completionists. Why is he f talking? Why is the flower talking? <gasps> oh my god, look at that dark. Oh my god, the shadow. I. Ooh, goosey, goosey, goosey. I don't want hints. I want someone to hold my hand when I play video games. Characters. Ow. Shut the f up look at all these characters luigi obviously I, I oh my god peach just looks incredible she's so cute daisy's eyes pop i love it blue toad it has to be blue toad toadette is here too and you already know where's my yoshis where's my yoshis where's my yoshis man oh yoshi looks so iconic definitely a tribute to super mario world looking incredible nabbit is incredible Okay, so they're kind of invincible. Yoshi does have a flutter jump. He could spit them. Oh my god, he's. He's. Ah! Dude, there's new enemies. When was the last time we had a new enemy in Mario besides bosses, right? This is so cool. This is amazing. That's a tribute to Odyssey. Oh my god, bro, that's me. That is me. I don't really know how to describe how much I love food, so I'm just gonna show a picture of him from now on. Oh, they. Oh my god, new power-ups. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Pause, pause. Oh my god, wait. The elephant Mario is so freaking funny. Look at the way he tries to fit. Oh, he just knocks everything out of his way. Wait, that's so cool. I want to be an elephant. Oh, wait, I already am. <laughs> he can spit water out. Ah! Oh my god, Peach. <laughs> Dude. Oh, Bubble, Bubble Mario! Bubble Mario! Bubble Mario! Bubbles! Bro, that's- Bro, that's a Kirby thing, okay? We've been doing that since 2004. Ew, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> you can also platform on them. Wait, shut- Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna love this game. The exploration- Drill! Oh my god, drill! <laughs> oh my god, yes, I drill on my butt. Drill! Oh my god, Daisy has a fire form, guys. Oh, even the transformation, too, just... Oh. And look at that, bringing back the pocket items as a backup. Love it, love it. Wonder! Woo! My god, I always wondered about the Wonder Flower. Oh my god, that's like the time I got Hotbox. Oh my god, it literally, like, we're literally tripping. We're literally on drugs when taking that flower. Nintendo promoting their dark side. Love to see it. This is crazy! Whee! Oh, there's no way, bro. We're literally taking not shrooms anymore. We're taking this is actual weed. Like <laughs> this is like we're literally taking flowers now. Very optional and completionist needed courses in collectibles, which is what I want. So this is what I care about. I'm very happy. Badges, <gasps> collectibles. Oh shit! Wait, shut the fuck up so you can change. That's probably why I thought Mario was a bit like like heavier. Look at this! You can change the way you feel in a Mario game for the first time ever. Swim better, breaking blocks, giving you additional powers. That is fucking sick. This is such a good idea to really mix up that formula. Look at that, a grapple? Hey, yo, I love being Zelda. Oh. Oh, this is really good. Guys, this game's gonna be really freaking good. This is like a really good idea. Look at that, even the coin magnets. Being invisible! Oh my god, me when... Shut the f***, speedrunners are about to like, have sex. Dude, you just, you change the formula at your own pace whenever you want. And obviously badge challenges. This is very Kirby inspired, you can tell. Obviously, like with the recent Kirby games having challenges, I think this just makes it way better. But also kind of a tribute to the last new Super Mario game where there was challenge mode and that was incredibly difficult, but it was also in an entire other 
area from the main game so you couldn't find it unless you really looked for it but now it's right there in the main game so you press start and you're gonna run into it so everyone's gonna finally experience the true challenges of mario games <gasps> if you're on a yoshi you can ride another yoshi can oh my that mm, how to break my back online shut up if you connect online you might see other players in the world map Showing the game in real time, live player shadows. So they couldn't do co-op, but they decided to do live player shadows. Nintendo once again. Wait, you can share. Okay, never mind. You're technically playing co-op. This is co-op, basically. Never mind. This is sick. Never mind. I take everything back. This is sick. This is actually such a good idea, especially Nintendo. Obviously, knowing and we all know that you know online has never really been their strong suit. So it's nice that they don't fully connect together, but they can interact with each other and they can save each other, give each other items, and support each other. This is actually such a good idea. And there's stickers! Ah! I love collectibles! Oh my god, dude, you, you, you guys don't understand. I'm gonna play this entire game online. Like, that's just the fact now. This is incredible. I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. I have goosebumps all around my body. Like, this is... This is way beyond my expectations as to what this game was going to offer us look at that not even just in a in a room with friends to help each other beat the game but being in a room with hundreds and dozens of other people is actually such a big one so this i don't think this has ever been done before besides super mario 100 like this is this is incredible this is incredible well is the rumor true is it launching the same time as Sega Sonic Superstars? That's the real question. We know Sonic Superstars is October. It is true. October 20th. A new Nintendo Switch OLED celebrating Mario Red. Look at this sexy red edition of the Switch. Isn't this sexy? That's why I had to show you. Oh, my alarm is ringing. So we're now heading down for rehearsals. We have to get ready because tomorrow's the big show and make sure everything is working on task. Obviously, Mario Wonder blew me out of the park today. I'm currently on my lunch break at work, which is really funny. Good timing. And uh, I'm dressed in red. Mario Wonder was amazing. I'm very excited for the game. Pre-ordering, playing day one. Very excited. I'm dying. I'm dying. He's perfect. He's so perfect. Look at him. He's so perfect. He's so perfect. He's not that shitty one. You know, like, he's an original. Oh my god, look at him. He's literally life size. Look at him. Like, take a picture of this. Look how we take a picture. Look at him. You can take pictures too.
Good morning. So, I got to play one hour of Super Mario Wonder, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And uh, I, I'll, I'll put a link here in the description so you guys can go see it. Um, but where I'm like, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go see the full analyzing and experience of it. But as a completionist and as a 2D platformer lover and, you know, enthusiast, uh, it blew my mind. I think it was the true sequel to a 2D Mario game that we've wanted since 1991, which is Mario World. And, you know, it, it, you feel it from the very first stage. So I'm very excited to for you guys to see that. If you want more info go there, I don't want to spend too much time on this video. This is the vlog. Uh, today I finally get to record everything. So the news is out by the time this video is out. And uh, a lot of things are going to be shown today. And I'm just going to let the footage speak for itself. And I'll give you some clips because we're on at 3 p.m., baby. We're on Nintendo. So I'll put a lot of those highlights here. We'll be with Ian Charles today. So I will catch you guys then. See you soon and enjoy.
leaving the room to get together with friends. Uh, what do you
You excited? Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. Let's go. E, you want to say hi to the vlog? Want to say hi to the vlog? Hey, what up? Quick you wave. You know. ready? We're going to crush it? Come on, man. You know what it is. Go. Look at these chains right here, baby. We're styling Let's the go. Nintendo oh, Live. How are you, Charles? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You I can't wait. You excited to be the weatherman? I'm excited. Very excited. <laughs> Mr. Analysis. Is right Analysis. That's it. Today, we're getting a forecast. Oh, oh. We're right here. Okay. We're going yeah, in. Yeah. We're going go in. Go up to the desk. I'll be right out. Okay. Let's do it. Ball. Let's do it. To the desk. To the desk. Kamek. It's the urinal. <laughs> I believe you for a second. I laughed. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Throughout this weekend, we are going to have some awesome competitions, some, some of Nintendo's most beloved games, including Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, including Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Splatoon 3. But as you can see, everybody is seated right now because I am joined by some awesome, awesome co-casters because we're going to be kicking off the Super Smash Bros. Squad Strike Challenge. Your boy EE, e., Charles, Kells, how are we feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. It is an honor to be here at Nintendo Live Seattle. Man, just the first Nintendo Live here in NA, and of course, such a beautiful city to be at as well. Just walking around, there's so much things to do, so much Absolutely. things to listen to. The live band was my personal favorite. How are you doing today, Kels? I'm doing so good, Charles. I feel just as hyped as you are. I mean, I tackled that poor Kirby in the back. <laughs> so I am so lucky to be here, first time in Seattle, and to be casting with you guys is such an honor as well. We have such talented players as well that we're going to be casting today, so. Oh, I mean, and obviously these players, I mean, they had to overcome a field of 256 just to make it to this top eight. So let's take a look at the rules. Yeah, and another thing about Squad Strike as well is you can switch up the order in which your characters are being played at. So if you want to try and counter pick and get a really good matchup for your character, you're going to want to really try to alter the order and predict how your opponent is going to pick their order as well. So there's a lot of mind games going yeah. into this. You absolutely said, and here we go again. You said random stages. We're now starring on Mushroom Kingdom U. So we're going to have hazards on. This level will change in multiple ways, E. You're going to see constantly flying in the sky. We might show up at Bowser's Castle at some point. And it could be the case here as well. Not only taking the stock, but looks like, no, not going to go ahead and fly the way Kirby is about to, to grab that smash ball. But there it is, though. Put it in to the ball. Grab it and use it. The smash ball, they're going to come out before you can do it. And Kirby's <laughs> back on the map here. Retro, the start of something new. It was only a matter of time before that stock had to come off, right? And now, of course, you do have your Kirby right now. And he's just saying, you know what? I'm letting it rip. Could this very well be a oh! match? It is! Oh, my goodness! Comeback of the event, and it's not even close to being finished yet. This Rob right now has to try and take this lead back, because right now, Retro making some plays we're going to remember. Oh. Retro thinking like, whoa, I mean, you think the Master Sword's nice. Yo, check out my sword with that final smash. Actually comboing into it from that forward air. Incredible stuff coming out from Retro. And Retro needed that to make this comeback. But here comes the final boss here. Danny switching to this Rob. Must have a lot of confidence to switch off that Joker. Because like you said, E, that Joker was very polished. 
It really did all the damage and that work in this game. I think maybe even the energy, right? And you saw that up air from Rob. Danny was ready, but the rock, the stone is here. But wait, what is this? No, Kirby here showing you that not only does he have that final cutter, right? But he's got feet of his own to go through those gears that Danny's Rob here that can't play. And now the damage is racking up and we got a sword and Kirby's having the front smash. It's not going to be the saving grace is for Kirby here. Gonna take him out on such a small stage. Oh, a sword! And it's gonna cover that entire landing there, E. It's gonna make it hard to be a comeback now when you've got Sephiroth controlling half the Well, hold on now, Kels. I not think he would put those hands on Danny like that. Uh, that was definitely a bit of a surprise, <gasps> but with such a powerful lineup like that, I heard that gas, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume Sonic has made it into somebody's roster, and that is certainly going to be the case. Danny, maybe opening exchange. The powerful final smash coming out from Ike, utilizing that armor. And of course, can't block these final smash attacks. You saw the shield was up for Danny, but final smashes, they don't care. They're going to go on right through their block and just going to go ahead and deal a ton of damage and get that stock, usually, right? I am extremely oh, oh, surprised that that fire fire sword did not actually go through the counter from Ike. There was no interaction there, but what is going on? Williams on a tear. He came again. You are you should be scared of the players that are not caring about the loss. You know they're here to win. They want to play even the most random of characters. They're at Nintendo Live. They want to have fun. They're gonna be thrown wherever, whenever, and they are here to really do the business and use these tools to their own fun and advantage. Yeah, I have no doubt about it that William is having a lot of fun, but Danny finally able to utilize that killing edge to get that stock off. Now, let's see. Uh, I see Olimar here with the home run bat, and there it is. Listen, that bat's got a couple different properties, and you got to know each and every one of them. Obviously, William very akin to how to perform that very well. As we see a super jump getting him out of a little bit of danger on that left side as the hits keep coming. Danny down to that final character in this Dark Samus. Looking like some dark days ahead, though, for this final stock. Yeah, you always got to watch out on these platforms when they're glowing green. You can go ahead and have access to those super jumps. has a hitbox as well, so you got to be really careful, really watching out for all the different colors on the stage here. But it looks like Dark Samus coming out, and this can be pretty difficult for Dark Samus because those Pikmin can go ahead and block a lot of the projectiles that Dark Samus can throw out. You know, Ike be talking about he's fighting for his friends, but really we've got these Pikmin behind the back <laughs> here, really controlling the stage and just trying to protect him, his friend. And it could be an opportunity here for Danny to make this comeback. But like you said, Charles, it's not easy, right? You got to get rid of the army before you can get rid of the captain. And okay. he's, he's definitely controlling it at the moment. It oh. looks like it's going to do it. E! Let's go ahead and give a huge congratulations, William! A bracket of destruction is the only way I can describe this young man's performance. Two O's across the board, and he didn't break that trend in the finals, and you can see it right there. He is your Squad Strike Challenge champion of Nintendo Live. Came through nothing but confidence, nothing but destruction, and nothing but victories as he outlasts over 250 other competitors to emerge victorious on the stage. Do it in style as well, ending it with a random battle. William really making it look easy, and you got to give it up because William is so skilled on the stick. Congratulations, Williams. And really showcasing the love for Smash Brothers, right? We didn't even, even besides that random match, he was always putting out something new. We saw Jigglypuff at a point, right? We saw all these diverse Woo! characters that he was so prominent with. Hold that trophy up high, boy, because be proud. He came to play, to win, and he put on quite a show, really agreeing fun till the end. And no matter what character he showcased, those guys.
waddling. I love him so much. Yes. All glory goes to the winner. It gets better. You repeatedly concluded that they were useless throughout the video. Number four. <laughs> the video was formulaic. I don't have much to add on this. <laughs> In case this wasn't clear, <laughs> I never stated that I was God. <laughs> within my career as a YouTuber, is to tell you my story. <laughs> no, 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 cut it, cut. Please lay back, no music. Before I tell you my story, I think I have to kind of set the stage for our characters for tonight so you guys know what this story really is about. So I think the first place we have to start with is with my father. Let's get a picture, some pictures of my dad. Look at that beautiful man. I, who is a total asshole to me in a corporate system where I need nothing. So. <laughs>
Sam. Oh, yeah. This is literally the best movie DC has ever put out. Of someone experiencing moment after moment. <laughs> That's how I felt. That's exactly what I felt. After viewing the initial trailer, I expected strange. But when Nintendo allowed me to play in a private closed door preview event, I'm tired. We are very jet lagged. <laughs> jet lagged. <laughs> we're drunk. Jet lagged. Jet lagged. Jet lagged. Jet lagged. Jet lagged. We're drunk. Today's packs. <laughs> I should be way more excited and all I want to do is hug my bed, but uh, we have business to do today for Game she Rebellion. Right, right. And obvious. <laughs> right. Oops, that's the other way around. That's right, left. I'm concerned. <laughs> I need a guardian. We're going there. I'm going to try playing as many games as possible and I'm also going to be networked. And I'm going to fly on the screen. <laughs> Yesterday, Nintendo absolutely drained us, and of course, tomorrow we are commentating. My voice is actually quite raspy already, so today my trying my best not to scream. So we're headed there. I'm gonna network, meet all these games. You guys are gonna get a lot of footage today since today is the main day, and it's gonna be the most packed day. But obviously, you know I'm running for Sonic Superstars on Sega. So get that footage for you guys, and I hope you enjoy. Bye. Much. My man really disinfected the whole thing. But we also have like, we have a, we released a new DLC pack on launch day. Oh, okay. So we even got like a Vocaloid track from Gumi, so that's Kim from Gumi. If you, if, you, if you know your Vocaloid. Oh yeah, uh, oh, yeah. So we've got uh, yeah, all the Sonic music that I we have. I thought I'm here, right? Yeah, I'm oh my god, there's no, there's, there's no way, there's no way. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that's sick, that's sick. So yeah, we got that. Oh my gosh. The Space Channel 5, we'll go to your girl from Space Channel 5 is on there. This bump in the city. This bump in the Chosen Mask from Star Wars. You got Ariana Grande. Oh, God. We have, like a, we have like a brand new Pitbull single that's debuting in our game. Long, I know. Like, you got plastic. I'm done. We're yeah, doing this we got one. Molly Cyrus. We're doing this one. That's okay. It.
main difference is going to be one button. We'll talk about that on the next screen, though. Okay. For this one, just pick whichever character is like most appealing to you. Yeah, yeah sorry. Me too, dude. It's so much. Watch is going to be so sick. Even she only has a few animations now, but she's a nice project. She's already really fun to play with this handful of attacks. I, I, I have three characters. These guys will be so crazy. Okay. Okay. Who's so the mask guy is Commander Video. He is the hardest character to play in the game, probably. Um, just because he's extremely fast and he has a bunch of jump samples and stuff. Sounds exactly so what I want. If you're a button pusher, yeah, Commander Video. The other option is Fish Bunchin, but he is the hardest. Yeah, you look at the Commander Video. We're all inspired by things from the game, so we're somewhat limited with what Palace so we can do. It's the moment of 
anything you do, that's your flaw. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at her heels, man. Look at her heels. No. <laughs> so I'm having apparently a chocolate milk from the Cheesecake Factory. Turns out it's like a milkshake. It was really good. One minute later. I met, I think, dozens and dozens and dozens of amazing devs yesterday who are just so gifted. Literally, Child Genius is one of them who had so much more experience as a 23 year old, more than I have ever done in my life and more than someone can ever do in their life. I felt like I was reading someone's monument after they died or something like, that. I don't know, like an old man or something. <laughs> we just had breakfast from the Cheesecake Factory, which is a weird thing to say, but it was amazing. And I'm very happy with what I ate. Um, Today's the last day of Nintendo Live and PAX. I am relaxing all morning, gotta rest my voice. Because we're live with the Amiibo Tournament, 16 and under, um, as we get onto Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Doubles, teaming with your Amiibo against the 64 participants who are gonna be there today. Very excited to do so, but relaxing this morning, not doing anything this morning. I really wanna relax. I haven't had the time to chill. Um, so I'm doing that, playing some Zelda. I might even play some Fortnite. Maybe try that a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, that's it. I mean, guys, I found so much great stuff during the event. I mean, the most, I think the biggest thing I found in our collection is definitely Nights into Dreams. We finally found it for the Sega Saturn and it is in perfect condition. It looks like it hasn't even been played. I checked the disc, everything. The uh, Sonic CD, a little bit banged up, but I mean, I'll take it for $70 rather than the you know, rather than the, you know, 300. <laughs> so I definitely saved. Got my girl some gifts. Here's a little bit of a tune link, you know, to match our world of tears of the kingdom. Today we want to go a little bit earlier just because my mom's obsessed with Lego and we want to get a Lego Yoshi that is available when you go into the Lego land at Nintendo Live. I land. So, hope you guys enjoy. Today's a chill day and then tomorrow we head back home. Interviews went really well too. You know, I love highlighting people and making sure you get a chance to tell their story. 
Now I'm in here watching you tell your story on stage. <laughs> I won't look as good as you though. Now. Like, I, I want to rock like like a good glasses. I want to walk, walk like I can't look professional wearing hats. I can't. You always look good doing it. Hey, I so. got a big head, so I gotta gotta mask it somehow. Maybe right? that's it. I have a tiny head. <laughs> Like when you put on like the, the COVID mask, I gotta wrap it like three times. Uh, That's like my face, so gotcha, it just doesn't okay. fit. <laughs> I wanted to ask you for all the commentators who are watching this documentary. Right. What advice can you give them for starting and for confidence being on stage? You know, I think active listening just goes a really long way. Um, you know, I teach middle school back at home. Active listening but works really well with the children, but it even works at an adult level too. Just making sure that when you're listening to your partner, whoever you're working with, taking in what they're saying figuring out what you're going to say back, but also making sure that you're highlighting what they've told you originally. It works in any sort of aspect, commentary, uh, interviews. It works really well for interviews. Heck, even dates. If anybody's ever been on a date that's why this, you know, back to, back active to back. listening goes a very long way. There it is. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. All the socials will be in the description. As always, please give this legend a follow. Thank you, guys. <laughs> right, all right, all right, guys. Here we go. Nintendo. Amiibo tournament. You know, I've always wanted Amiibo tournaments, guys. So it's nice that we get to team with our Amiibos and going into this event. We team with it. We're not even sure if, if spirits are in. We're gonna try and figure that out. We will. But all we do know is that it's gonna be hype. It's a 16 and under event. You team with your Amiibo and you work your way to the top out of 64 players. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Tune in. Let's get into it. YouTube.com slash Nintendo. Don't miss it. Also on Switch, in case you don't have that YouTube app, uh, everywhere and beyond the world is Nintendo. So come enjoy the show, and we'll see you soon. All right, welcome everybody, both in person and watching from home, to day three of Nintendo Live 2023 from beautiful Seattle, Washington. Over the past few days, we have seen some amazing battles in both Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Squad Strike and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But today, the attention is all on the Amiibo and Me exhibition. This exhibition is for anyone ages 10 to 16, proven that children really are the future. And based off some of this gameplay, the future is looking incredibly bright. So I'm proud to welcome you all in here. I am EE. E. I, of course, am joined by my amazing, talented casting comrades, Charles and Supergirl Kells. How are we feeling? It's day three and the vibes are feeling pretty good. Oh yes, here at Nintendo Live. It's such an honor to be here and it's so fun to just go around all the different booths. I've been having such a great time. My personal favorite was the Animal Crossing booth, hey. of course. So I've been having a great time. How about you, Kells? Same with you, Charles. Animal Crossing. I didn't catch any bugs, but I did catch a fish, so that makes <laughs> up for it. How is everyone feeling? Hey. Make some noise. We're here in Seattle, as you said. E squad. We were in Squad Strike on Friday, and now it's all about doubles. Being a good partner, not even as a person, but with your little friend, the Amiibo. There it is. The Amiibo definitely might be the star of the show, but they can't do it alone. On. And no, Kirby's going to survive here in these side-scrolling stages. I mean, some of the stocks are just get lost so easily because you'll get so close to the blast zone and this double Kirby combination is looking unstoppable right now. You know, E, I'm trying my hardest not to be biased for this team, okay? <laughs> but I meant it when I said Kirby as an amiibo is one of the strongest because of the ability to adapt and stay yes. close to your partner on a stage like this. That stone is here to play. Oh, hey, where no. are you going? I'm out. Exit the stage, please. I'm not gonna, gonna head in. There you go. Kick him out. What the bat? Home run! I was going to say the way things are developing, I know, you know, the Phantom Thieves only show up for the final smash, but the first match ended with DDD just sending them to the skies with that hammer, with that up smash. But this time, Kazi said, you know what? I'm going to put you on the receiving end and put us into a game number three. Yes, and now we're in the finals. This is going to be the last game here. Winner of this will be the tournament winner. First place here at Nintendo Live Seattle 2023. So excited to get into this very last match. And you, you love it when it goes down to the wire, right? Oh, yeah, especially, guys. Come on. Like Charles said, it's the last one. So can we get some hype in the crowd go, boys, for your girls. potential winners? Let's get loud. Give the energy needed for these talented young players who are ending it on my favorite stage yes, in the entirety same. of Smash Brothers here. I think I got a thousand hours itself just on this <laughs> stage. So really happy to see and unfortunately Cloud not going to spend nearly as much hours on it. He's going to lose his stock. Practice going down one and 
Piranha Plant Mario Man a little bit heavier and will last even longer. No doubt about this, this stage, Corneria, absolutely gorgeous, but a rather ugly start for Practice, who's going to be looking to absolutely start initiating this comeback sooner rather than later. It is good, though, that Mario Man also dropping that stock as well. So now, really, the oh. Amiibos, the anchors of both teams at the moment, and we already know this DDD does not play around, but same can be said for Kazuya. Both of these guys just headhunting right now, trying to get those first KOs on each other. And nothing doing just yet. Petey, though, might have something to say about that. Got two here, roasting them up. There taking is. both of them out here. And there's also two sides of this stage. Corneria on this top side of the ship, a lot more open. But you can go to the back side by the engine, and it gets a little bit chaotic there. Yes. So we'll see where the players want to go and fight. But all the items spawning will definitely influence where the players want to be. Oh, yeah. This is all strategic. And don't forget that last wow, hit of that, that hammer. Going to go ahead and connect. I love the spacing that DDD did just to kind of right space himself right outside of that troublemaker Kazuya's hit and is going to avoid it and really use it against him. But okay, the shock there for Practice, making sure he doesn't lose that last stock and now the smash fall for the strong hit of that smash attack is going to come out, but is he going to be able to use it? Oh, the yep. laser beam wow. interrupted. Kick DDD's charge there on the down special. This is going to rack up a good amount of damage and gain a little bit more control for Practice. All right, Practice was able to keep, I was going to say, keep that final smash in tuck. So definitely going to get an opportunity to utilize that. This will not be a KO, but again, at this point, you just want all the damage you can accumulate. Oh, Mario Man up until that point was doing such a good job keeping that stock alive, but it was just not meant to be. Guys, we are getting down to the wire, and it is turning into a true nail-biter. Oh, you're in the pit here. Look at this, PD scooping up both, roasting them, getting a bunch of damage here, and another stock taken. We got three to two here. There it is, and a, you know, that quarter, once again, we did talk about that Charles where it was gonna go and kind of maybe save your stock a little bit before you can really let it go, and this is a large blast zone, so you're gonna see these percent oh. go liar, but that instant shield oh, no. is gonna lead to the up smash, that great awareness from Practice to really bring this back. DDD, it's all up to you. He's gonna go ahead and oh. wing it. It's gonna miss, but he gets the forward air, and is he gonna take this? I'm definitely feeling like Mario Man is leaving it all up to DDD. We've seen this DDD be so clutch in the past. One more time, one more ask in the final oh my game. Goodness. Can the DDD find a way? Oh, the shield break, but it's not even going to matter. Kazuya with the ultimate Secret Service like protection. That's teamwork right there. Always being there for your teammate. And just like that, DDD is at 0%. But look at Cloud, 243. You can't oh. hit by anything. It's going to be a 1v1 versus both Amiibo. This is it. This is the final countdown here on Corneria. The up smash from DDD going off stage. And don't forget, you got the little battle. Oh, no, oh, my God. No, 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 wait. Everybody, evacuate. And here it is. The shot. Is this going to take it here on a large blast on the side? It should. It the is. The does end it. Ladies and gentlemen, Rekki. Out of nowhere, coming from an 0-1 start digging himself out of that hole and to the top of the mountain to claim the championship here for the Amiibo and Me exhibition. And not only the championship, not only the trophy, but how about that trip for four to Universal Studios Hollywood to experience Super Nintendo World and what an experience he just had on the stage as he's your champion. Insane. So many different clashes of play styles. You, see, you saw so many times where the player really had to decide. And look at this practice, holding up the amiibo there, the Kazuya amiibo, and the brother and father up on stage with practice. The whole family coming up to celebrate his victory. As they should, okay? Look at that, Love man. that. Look at Ooh. that. Oh, they got oh, hit there. Hey. Oh, hey, let's go. Can somebody teach me that? That was cool. That was really I cool. I like that. Man. Look and slide. if you want to learn how to be a great doubles partner, you know, you learn that handshake. That's just what it is. <laughs> and look at that. Now his practice, his little amiibo friend now kind of inside of that trophy too. That was so nice. Has his own little home of his own, right? We, I love that we ended it before on Luigi's Mansion. He said, now, now you're your nice new home. I really remember <laughs> you. Bye. Congratulations. Practice. Really, that just sh goes to show, guys, that when you are in the what seems to be impossible depths of the bottom of losing, there is still a way to come back, especially if you have a great amiibo trained up who has different attributes, and if you got the, the stage and some items to boot on your luck. I'm telling you, that, that <laughs> honestly, you couldn't ask for a more fitting end in an awesome battle. Corneria, the final showdown, last hits, the amiibo took charge, and they did not disappear. There he goes. Do you 
you need help? <laughs> Bye, Kirby. <laughs> Oh god, I definitely cannot process this without it coming out of my asshole in the next thing. Oh, it's my bad. This event has been an incredible opportunity and just the probably the biggest part of my journey. I retired in Super Smash Brothers and Pro Esports as a player not too long before this event. So to be called into this event as a caster, one of the main hosts, and a representative for a community manager in a marketing company for gaming to help games be created and bought for gamers everywhere is such a great story, I feel. It really shows the next book has started in my life. When I retired, I was super sad and I kind of did this tribute that was sad, but now I see it as a celebration. This is really to remember how much I've worked hard and after countless hours, I did achieve what only some people wish they could. So that just shows anybody can achieve this. I want to thank all the tamers who came out to this event to see me, to meet me, to take pictures, and to help me find studios and indies to play games with and to connect with. I also want to thank all the tamers who actually contributed to editing this video. You guys were memberships and had perks on making decisions for memes, music chosen, and more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. I know that this video has taken a really long time to get out, but I wanted to be sure that quality definitely was over the quantity. I'll see you guys in the next one, and definitely on the live stream.